Hi, Avalise. Hi, Becky. How are you today? I'm good. Good. Are you ready to do some English work? Yeah. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> yay. Okay. So we're going to get started. We're going to switch to the notebook, okay? The next one says, um, first, I, I, uh, first explain, first explain my grandpa. We, we, we will need to clean up the gar, gar, garage. You got it. Exactly. First explain to my grandpa, we will need to clean up the garage. Now this one's a little bit different. Do you see the word in, you're on the right track, but before you go any further, do you see where the narration is? Yeah. So what do you think wasn't said by the person speaking? My grandpa, Explain. So first explain to my grandpa. So al almost, but do you think that the person might have said, first we need to clean up the garage. Do you think he might have said that? Yeah. Yeah, so in this case, we've actually split up what grandpa said. So grandpa says first, so we need to put quotations around that. And then the narration is explained by grandpa. Oh. So what we actually need is just like in our sentence with Mrs. Jolly, we need to let the reader know, hey, this is where the person speaking has stopped and this is where the narration has picked up. And so we do that with quotation marks, but we have to remind them to pause in what they're reading. So we need to put a comma after first. So it would look like this. First comma explained my grandpa. Do you see? Yes. So because grandpa said first, we want to put that in quotation marks, then that comma is going to let us know, take a bit of a pause when you're reading this. And then what did grandpa say? Uh, he said, we need to clean the garage. Yeah, he said, we will need to clean up the garage, right? So that part's going to have to go in quotation marks, isn't it? We yeah. will need to clean up the garage. Just like you showed me with your green there, we need a quotation mark before we and after garage, right? Yes. But is there still something missing in this? Um, yes. What are we missing? Grandpa. You've got it. We need that comma after grandpa because that is going to tell the reader, hey, the narration is stopping and now we're about to give you something that grandpa said, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's switch to the web, the webcam and just do a quick check about how we're feeling, okay? There you are. Okay, so how are we feeling? Good. You feeling good about this? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna move on to something different. Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's switch back to the notebook so we can see what we need to read, okay? All right. Yes. So what's this story called? My set, my set name. Oh, my mystery. Oh, I, I thought mine was separate. Not separate. It's all one word. So what word is that? Mystery. Mystery. So mystery. Mystery of the Broken Pie. You got it. So let's use some of our pre-reading strategies. 
let's read to find out if any of our predictions are right. Right. Um, the mystery of the broken pie. The sun was shining on a sp spring grass. Not spring. It, it was spar sparkling grass. It was morning, and the grass was still wet from the the dew. We were excited to see the sunshine after days of rain. Sun did sun suddenly. Not suddenly. That Y, that Y is going to make an I sound. The I didn't. Sydney. 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 And I were right. I, I, Sydney and I were tired of being stuck inside. Good. Mom. Okay. Pause. So, yes. good job. So, we had a little bit of trouble with Sydney. So, what do we do when we get stuck? And we stop and think about what we just read to make sure that we remember it, right? Yes. So, what is happening so far in the story? Um... The sun was shining after lots of rainy days, and they didn't want to be stuck inside. Perfect. Good. Yes. All right. So let's take a look back at some of our predictions. So you had said, based on the title and the picture, that a girl finds a broken pie under her bed. Were, no. Were we right about that? No. No. You had said... That it will be a mystery story. Were we right about that? Yes. We were right about that. Good. And then you said that it, the mystery that they'll have to solve is to find the pie. No. What mystery did they actually have to solve? Um, to find who ate the pie. Yeah, who ate the pie? Who made it such a mess? Good. Okay, so I do have some questions for you about this story, but we've run out of time. So I will send those along to mom, and okay. you can work on those later. So how do you okay. feel about your reading today? Good. Yeah, thumbs up? I feel double thumbs up. I think you did an excellent job. That was the hardest story that we've read so far. And it had some really tricky words in it. And you did a really good job with them. You also did a really good job understanding what the story was about. So A plus for you, double thumbs up today. I'm super proud of you today. I'm okay. <laughs> All right. So I will see you guys on Sunday and we'll work on math. Okay. Great, Becky. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Bye, guys. Have a good week. Bye. Bye. Bye.